Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using static files in Jekyll. Now, static files are basically any files on our website that aren't getting rendered or used by Jekyll. And a good rule of thumb is static files are any files that don't have front matter. So, um, you know, something like a blog post or a page on your site, those both have front matter. Um, but something like a JavaScript file or a CSS file or an image or a PDF or a Word document, any file like that that you're storing on your site that's not going to have front matter uh, inside the file is a good example of a static file. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, use those static files, access them, loop through them, print them out, and a bunch of cool stuff like that. Now. Down here in my site, I have this folder called assets and you don't have to store static files in a folder called assets. That's just kind of what I'm doing to illustrate this. But in here I have three static files. So I have this logo, which is just the Jekyll logo. And then I have this PDF here. And then I have this picture of a cat. So I have a JPEG, a PDF and a PNG image. And I can actually go to one of the layouts on my page. So in this case, I'm on my home.html layout. And this is just the, <clears throat> the layout that's used for the home page of my website. And on this home.html layout, I can actually loop through all of the static files on the website. So I can come here and I can make a for loop and I could say for uh, file in site.static oops, files. And what this is going to do is it's going to loop through all the static files on my website. So I can say end for, and now in here, we'll just print out the file. And so there's a couple different uh, variables that we can use with file. So I could say file dot path, and this is going to print out the path of the file. So what this should do is just print out a big list of all the files with their paths. And you can see here on this uh, web page, we have assets cat.jpg, assets how to program.pdf, assets logo.png. And this site.static files, it doesn't care where these are located. So if I took this cat.jpg and just took it out of the assets folder and put it at the root directory of my site, this would still work. So obviously, it's like reorder these a little bit, but it's still able to find that cat.jpg file. It's able to locate any of the static files on our website. So I'm just going to put this cat back inside of the assets folder. So in addition to accessing the file path, I can also access uh, some other things. So I could access like the file name. And this is basically just going to give me like the full name of the file. Um, I can access the base name and this will give me the name without the extension. I can access the uh, extension name, which is just ext name. And this will just give me the name of the extension. So with these file variables, you can access different information about the static files. Um, so like their path, the name, the extension, all that stuff. And then you can use that information on your site to do different things. Another thing you can do with static files is you can actually give them front matter. And in order to give these uh, files front matter, you need to do a certain thing. So just to demonstrate this, I want to make a new folder inside of this assets folder, and I'm just going to call this IMG. So this will just be images. And I'm going to take these two images and I'm going to store them inside of this IMG folder. So now we have assets, IMG, these two images, and then we have that PDF, which is just inside of the assets folder. And we can actually give front matter to both of these image files. So imagine that I wanted to basically tell Jekyll that both of these files or tell Jekyll that all the files inside of this image folder are images. I could do that by giving them front matter. So I'm going to come over here to my config.yaml file. And inside of this config.yaml file, I'm going to make a new line. And we're actually going to create a default variable for these files. So I'm just going to type out defaults. And inside of here, I'm just going to make a new entry. And I'm just going to say scope. And inside of scope, I'm going to give this a path. And this is going to be the path that we want to assign the front matter variable to. In our case, it's assets forward slash image. So I want to give all of the files inside of this assets forward slash image a certain piece of front matter. 
After we type scope, we can just type values and here we'll be able to put all the values that we want to store. So the front matter values. I'm just going to say image colon true. And basically what this will do is for all of the images or all the files inside this image folder, it'll set this front matter variable image equal to true. And then I can use that front matter information in order to display the images on my website. Whenever you modify this config.yaml file, you want to make sure that you restart your Jekyll server. So I'm just going to do that right here. And once you restart the server, then those changes should take effect. So now over here in this home.html, I can actually use that front matter. So I can create an if statement and I could say like if file dot and now I can access that front matter. So I can say if file dot image, then I want to do something. And so what this will do is it'll do something for all of the images on my website. And what we can do is just display the actual image. So I'll just make an image tag and we can make the source file dot path. And then we can just make the all file dot name. And now when I load up my website over here, you'll notice that both of these images get displayed, but this PDF down here. So this how to program PDF that I stored inside my assets folder, that's not getting displayed, right? There's not like a third image that doesn't have a source. It's only displaying these two images. And that's because we were able to access this front matter variable that we gave to all of the files inside of that image folder. So hopefully that makes sense. Working with static files can be a really great way to kind of like, you know, render different stuff on your site. So for example, I was able to display all of the images on my site just like this. Um, so playing around with static files can be really useful. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.